This is your homework helper, Mrs. Anderson. Today I will help you with lesson three, powers and exponents. Please have your homework page ready and let's begin. Okay, when we have a number that repeats itself, that you're multiplying by the same number, like six times six times six, you can write it as an exponent. Six is the number that is repeated, so six is the base that you write down. And it is multiplied three times, so three is the exponent, and it is written small next to it like that. So what you're going to do is practice writing the product as an exponent. So if I had three times three times three times three, I'm using three as my number, so that will be my base. And then I count how many times I use it. One, two, three, four and put four as my exponent. So you'll do the same thing on this one with tens and this one with twelves. On number three and number four, you're gonna write the power as a product. So we call this like um, three to the seventh power. So rather than writing, um, you're gonna write it like this now. Okay, so I'll give you an example. If I had the number two and four, uh, 2 to the 4th power, then I would write 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now it says to find the value, uh, and you're welcome to find the value if you want to, but you don't need to. You just need to practice writing it out like this. Okay, the next two are prime factorization, which means doing a factor tree, and then writing uh, the prime factorization as an exponent. So you would take your, uh, make two branches, and then you're going to think of two numbers that you would multiply to be to 20. I'm going to do an example right here, and I'll do uh, 16. Okay, I can multiply 2 times 8, and that will be 16. 2 is prime, so I circle it. 8 is not prime, so I put two more branches. Uh, 8 would be 2 times 4. 2 is prime, 4 is not, so I keep going. 2 times 2, 2 is prime, 2 is prime. So I would write this prime factorization as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, but now I'm going to write it using an exponent. So I can see that it's the number 2 that is repeated every time, and it is repeated 4 times. So my answer would be 2 to the 4th power. And that's what you'll do with number 5 and you'll do the same thing with number six. Do the factor tree, then write out the prime factorization is what this is called, and then write it as an exponent. Now you might have two to the fourth power multiplied by five, and that is fine. Um, it's not just going to be an exponent all the time. You might have times by another number. On 16, you would not though, so I'll take that away. Okay, let's look on the back. Uh, the Newfoundland is a large breed of dog. It weighs about 10 times 10 pounds. Write 10 times 10 using an exponent. Then find the value of the power. How many pounds does the Newfoundland, Newfoundland weigh? Newfoundland weigh. So I have 10 times 10. And I need, I'm going to find out, I need to find out what that answer is, 10 times 10. And then I also need to write it as an exponent. So I write down the base, which is 10, and then my exponent is how many times 10 is written down. Uh, let's move on to number eight. The area of San Bernardino County, California, the largest county in the United States, is about three to the ninth power square miles. Write this as an expression. What is the area of San Bernardino County? You don't need to do this part but you do need to write it as an expression. So three to the ninth power is going to be the same as three times three and continue on. If you want to go ahead and do three times three times three times three, nine times to find out the answer, that would be awesome. That would be like bonus for you. Very cool. Okay, let's look at vocabulary check. Number nine, numbers expressed using exponents are called Hmm. Uh, I'm going to look at that one before I tell you what this one is. And the exponent indicates how many times the blank is used at a, as a factor. OK, 
Okay, and we said that that one is a base. Let's look at test practice. A 100 pound person on Earth would weigh about four times four times four times four pounds on Jupiter. We evaluate the expression to determine how much a 100 pound person would weigh on Jupiter. Okay, so we're talking about a 100 pound person here. We're still talking about a 100 person pound person here. So you're going to figure out the answer to this and then you'll know uh, and then choose the correct one here. Okay, and on, oh, this one. Numbers expressed using exponents are called powers. Okay, I had a little brain freeze there. Okay, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me at school tomorrow.